Hey guys, so for this video, I'm going to be ranking the top 5 duos in the world right now. However, if a pro player that you like is not on this list, then this is just my personal top 5, so that is why. Now, to start things off, the number 5 duo in the world is Liquid Stretch and TSM Commandment. Both are good solo players, however, they will have to sell for number 5 because they have not done any duo tournaments together. However, I do think that they will do really well because even if they do not have the most chemistry, they are both top tier solo players. Now, for their competitive accomplishments, Stretch most recently got 4th in FNCS Trio Grand Finals, 1st in their Heat alongside Zayt and Seth, as well as 2nd twice in the Champion Trio Cash Cup. For Commandment, he has similar placements to Stretch. He got 2nd in FNCS Grand Finals for Trios, 1st in FNCS Week 3 and Week 1, and 3rd in the Trio Champion Cash Cup. Oh yeah, Stretch also got 1st place in the Dream Hat Grand Finals in July. Now, moving on to number 4, we have E11 Tayson and Gamma Thomas HD. Just like Stretch and Commandment, they have not been dueling for very long. That being said, Taysen won the FNCS Solo Grand Finals in Europe, and right after it won the Trio Grand Finals for FNCS alongside Mitro and Mongrel. Winning two FNCS back to back is insane to think about, but he also did it on Europe, which is the hardest region in the world. That is honestly just mind blowing to me. For Thomas HD, he is the best sniper in Fortnite, so overall, I think these guys are going to be a really good duo. Now, for the number 3 spot, we have Clicks and Bizzle. Unlike other pros on this list, Clicks and Bizzle have actually played the Aqua and Nyrox Throwback Cup together. This is not a huge tournament by any means, however, it does mean that they have played an official Epic Run tournament together in the past and not just scrims. The reason Clicks and Bizzle are not first is because I feel that like Clicks might start doing more content now that he's at the NRG house and he might play less scrims. That is just a guess though, not something that I know will happen. If he does choose to stick to competitive though, I could definitely see him coming in like top 3 in DreamHack Grand Finals. Now moving on to number 2, we have Booga and Avery. Just like the first two teams on this list, they have not played together for any duo tournament so far. However, that does not mean they are not a good duo. What they have going for them is that they did trios together and have been friends for a while, so they know each other's playstyles really well. On top of that, they got third in FNCS Trio Grand Finals alongside Jamper. Now, the big question mark for them, in my opinion, is that are they gonna be landing at Stark Industries? In trios getting uncontested, Stark was a huge reason to their success, so if they get contested in duos or switch drop spots, that could really affect their overall placement. Now, for the number one duo, we have Zayt and Saf. These guys started dueling way back in 2018, so they have a ton of chemistry. They also never split for trios of squads, so they have literally done every tournament since 2018 together, including getting 4th place at the World Cup Finals in New York. That is the main reason I am putting them at number 1, because they both are not the best solo players, but as a duo they dominate, including they winning the FNCS Duo Grand Finals. Now, some wild cards I have for winning the dream hack is going to be AV and Chap if they decide to duo, Illist and Riverson, and Dubs and Mega. Those are pretty much my big wild cards, so yeah. Now, overall, that was it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, then I would appreciate if you guys could drop a like as well as subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Peace out.